That's right, your eyes do not deceive you. This is Hollow Knight. Absolutely wonderful game that I played two years ago. I've been dying to play it on my channel ever since. And I think now is a great time to do it. I have some free video slotage. At first, it was going to be a normal playthrough of this game because the brand new uh, prequel is coming out very soon. However, I thought I would spice it up a bit. I'm going to be doing Steel Soul Mode. Because your boy is a real gamer here. I haven't really played it for a very long time. Uh, I did play like half an hour of it yesterday because um, I was going to do classic mode, but I did change my mind today. I was like, you know what? I want the video to be in Steel Soul Mode. And I want to see how far we can get in still soul mode. That means no reviving. If you die, you are dead. Which is goddamn scary. <laughs> it's going to be probably the most gamer thing on my channel. The most hardcore thing on my channel. I've never done anything quite like this. It would be like doing a uh, hard mode or impossible mode on Cuphead. You know, I did normal mode on Cuphead and it was a emotional roller coaster. Imagine doing that series, but like extreme difficult mode. That's what I'm about to accomplish here. And you know, you know your boy's going to accomplish this, okay? Don't look down on me. Don't think I'm a simple, dumb, dumb, low IQ gamer because I'm very much smart boy. I'm very much high Q gamer. And just to prove it, you know what's coming up? That's right, it's the gamer glasses. Who saw that one coming? Are you tired of that gimmick yet? Because I'm not. Some of you guys might be a bit new to Hollow Knight. Um, I definitely encourage you to play it. Try it out yourself. It's an amazing game. There's my little boy. That's going to be us. It's, it's a really good game. But what I'm going to be doing in this playthrough is kind of like... I won't be necessarily going through every single like in-depth lore part of the game. I'll be doing strictly the the most difficult parts of the game. God, I love this game. <laughs> I love it so much. But I'm gonna give you like a brief rundown if you're new to the game, okay? So we're this little like stag beetle guy uh, who is really cute and adorable but also extremely powerful, alright? We don't really know much about this and we go to this town called Dirtmouth, which is also a great word for someone who just talks a lot of shit. Don't call me Dirtmouth in the comments down. If you call me Dirtmouth, you're getting- I'm gonna ban you. We kill other beetles with our little needle. Um, these beetles, of course, are evil. Don't worry about it. There's like a corruption going on down below. Like, the deeper you go, the, the heavier the corruption. And you slowly but surely learn about the corruption and what's going on. There, it, the game doesn't spoon feed you, by the way. The game is a bit cryptic in like, you know, how it tells its story. Um, we have a thing called salt. That's like the weird like milk juice in the top left there. Just, you know, shaking and wobbling about. And by the way, we get a really cool like uh, health bar interface there. You see that little like needle, like, the steel needle? Usually it's not as cool as that. We're playing steel soul mode. It's much cooler now. That's the one benefit we get from playing steel soul mode. We collect a currency called geode like this right here. Yo, that was close. <laughs> Then we can spend um, that geode on, on cool stuff to help us like pretty much like navigate the world sometimes you get like charms and charms can like be equipped to us to help us out there. Okay, some dumb damage, but honestly also done on purpose to show off my gaming knowledge. Right here, you press and hold B to heal. We're gonna need to do that a lot. Now what I'm really scared about is yesterday when I was doing normal mode, um, I did die the first boss. Now, normally that's okay. But in this run here, that- oh god, I, I forgot about that part again. Oh, oh, okay. So normally, that's okay. You can die, you just lose your geodes. But on this mode here, it means certain death. It means you have to play all over again from the very start. Which of course, is, is it's very scary. <laughs> can open this, we get a charm in here. Give me this charm, thank you. It has been two years since I last played this game. So there's gonna be many things I forget. Um, I already get lost a lot as well in the game. And there's also a lot about the game I still don't really know about because I didn't do like 100%. There's so many secrets in the game. And there's also like a lot of like updates and DLCs that were added to the game as well. I know there's some kind of like carnival DLC, which I never really um, went into. I wanna get this geode right here, cheeky geode. So how is this gonna work? Well, what I wanna do is if I lose, right? I start again. If it's early game, let's say like if I'm like literally a third in the game, I will restart the game and try it again off screen and then, you know, record when I've caught up to my game save, right? That's how I'll do it. Because I do have to start all over again. Let's crack open this door. This is a hefty ass door. There we go. Thank you. Superman jump. 
There we go. If we're like late into the game, I'll let you guys vote on it whether or not I should keep on doing still soul mode. You know, if the game gets just way too tough for me, we can do like a normal playthrough if the game or the, if the series is doing really well. I do, however, really want to try out this new like God thing. It's not really new, but apparently there's like this end game thing about like God oh, mode. Game. I have no idea what that's about, but apparently it's extremely hard. We ain't doing that steel soul mode, by the way, but I will definitely do some videos on that because that's something I haven't explored a single time. I haven't even seen what that's like, but apparently it's, it's stupid difficult. This game is very difficult. I expect very much a lot of salt and a lot of emotions. Hold there, traveler. I'm afraid there's only me left to offer welcome. Our town's fallen quiet, you see. The other residents, they've all disappeared. Headed down that well, one by one, into the caverns below. Used to be there was a great kingdom beneath our town. It's long fell to ruin, yet it still draws folks into its depths. Wealth, glory, enlightenment. That's an alarm, I'm sorry. That darkness seems to promise all things. I'm sure you too seek your dreams down there. Well, watch out. It's a sickly air that fills the place. Creatures turn mad and travelers are robbed of their memories. Perhaps dreams aren't such a great thing after all. It's a very dark, <laughs> dark setting, honestly. It's very sad and dark and it's kind of like, it's a bug's life, bro. You ever seen that movie, A Bug's Life? Great movie. Hop was an asshole. It's kind of like that, except like someone who's got manic depression made that instead, right? But also that person's is an amazing creator. This game is awesome. I can't believe I'm playing on my channel. But I'm just really excited to play on my channel. I don't expect it to go too well, but if uh, if like enough of you guys watch it, then that's it'll make my day. It truly will. Um, it'll, it'll really make me happy. And I do try and promise you guys it won't interfere with me uploading anything else that you guys prefer. Um, I want to make sure this is just like this is for me. You know, this series is personally, it's for me, man. I'm not gonna lie. This one's for me. Oh, yeah, it's this place. It's, this is like sealed up. It's like a weird sealed asshole. Yo, what's up? Hello there. How delightful to meet another traveler on these forgotten roads. You're a short one, but you've, but you have a strong look about you. I'm Krill. I have something of an obsession with uncharted places. This ancient kingdom holds many fascinating mysteries. And one of the most intriguing of them is standing right before us. A great stone egg. Alright, not sealed asshole then. Lying in the corpse of an ancient kingdom. And this egg, is it warm? It certainly gives off a unique air. Can it be opened? There are strange marks all over it. I do love a mystery. And who knows what other marvels lie even deeper below us. I do want to talk to every single NPC in this game as well because they all like, I, th I think depending on like what you do and how you play the game, depends on like whether the NPCs like die or support you or go against, like it's kind of like, you can affect the world around you, which is what I really like about this world as well, this game. Sometimes NPCs die if you don't interv intervene. Very small amount of like Undertale-esque in that way, you know, it's got like a small like, you start to really like the characters in this game. But then again, I might be just gushing over the game, you know, I don't know. I'm definitely biased, by the way, and I'm sorry for talking so much. Um, I recently got complaints about me talking a lot in my in my videos. Um, I <laughs> I don't know what to say to that, apart from maybe supposedly nothing. But it's, it's just what I do. I talk a lot. I finally have like a platform to talk to people, and you know what? I'm gonna do it. This poor, poor old. Dr. Phil looking bug here. I can't bear to hear him cry anymore. It's so sad. He's lost his fellow grubs. These grubs are his baby boys. So you know what? Your boy Chorus has got to save his baby boys. I'm going to try my best to save every single grub in this game as well, honestly. Because he does give you a lot of money. And I can't bear to hear him cry. He lost all the hundred of his, like, grub children. He's a bad father. But you can't stay mad at Dr. Phil worm caterpillar guy, so... Ow, that hurts. Honestly, I'm just gonna yeah, just drop down here. Yeah, just drop down here. I want to go down here because right now I want to talk to Map Man. I know everything about the starting area, by the way. Past starting area, I don't know anything. So if you want like a, a more of a blind playthrough, you'll get more of one later on. Hmm, ah, uh, hello there. Come down to explore these beautiful old ruins. Don't mind me. I have a fondness for exploring myself. Getting lost and finding your way again is a pleasure like no other. We're exquisitely lucky, you and I. I'm a cartographer by trade, and I'm working on mapping this area right now. Would you like to buy a copy of my work so far? Uh, yes. 100%. You want to... Honestly, Matt Man is the best thing in the world. He's gonna say like, hey, I have a new shop opening in Dirtmouth. So I do want to explore a bit before I go ahead. I know there's a place over here that I want to do. This guy's an asshole. 
And also my gamer brain last time figured out you could do that and go up there. And I was like proper proud in the video, but unfortunately you don't get that same response this time around. Instead you get a like, very smug choice, you'd be like, yeah, I know what I'm doing. It's just another day being me. I was thinking like hopefully there's a there's a grub somewhere nearby. Oh, you're scary. It's gonna kill you. You got weird egg sack fly. Alright, you know what? Okay, you got me, don't worry. Your boy's gonna get got a few times, he's warming up. And there's my baby boy Grub, there you go, be free. Be free my baby boy. He's so cute. <laughs> They've made that bug so goddamn cute. Goddamn, these worms are creepy as hell. This game is actually really scary as well. If you want some kind of like horror, I'm not a fan of spiders. And guess what, in bug world, oh my god, oh my god. In bug world, is that a secret here? No. Lots of secrets by the way in this game. In bug world, there's lots of spiders. And guess what? They've made the spiders especially creepy in this game. I, I That's something I remember very, very well and vividly is the spider section. Um, there's one part in the spider section that just creeped me out. <laughs> and I can't wait to show that. This is a secret here. Again, I'm going to know everything in the, in the song area. Uh, I do apologize if you want the surprise factor there. Which, oh, I wanted the, the, my geodes though. All right, I'll fight this guy, please. Come, come, come towards, come, come. Come, come, easy. All right, show me more, next challenge, thank you. All right, egg sack people, pretty easy, honestly. Don't even worry about it. Didn't even get hit a single time. Your boy's a genius, a prodigy genius. Talented in many ways. Ooh, I think there's a hot spring here. Okay, sit here. So every time we sit in the chair, I think we can update the map eventually when we get like a nice little um, item. But right now, let me see our map. This is our map here. We don't know where we are. Like eventually you can like upgrade the map more and more and more. And you can see more of the map. You can see icons and all sorts. I really love that idea that you're just trying to like, you're literally drawing out the map every so often. Look, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm fangirling a lot in this game, okay? I'm literally a little like fangirl but go. <laughs> I can't help it. I just, I really love this game. Like, out of all my friends, no one else has ever played this before. So like, I can't talk to any of them about it. And I, I'm like, look, guys, play Hollow Knight. It's a great game. And they're like, well, I don't know, Chauncey. You're the kind of guy who likes Battle Cats a lot. And I'm like, you know what? Fuck you. <laughs> oh, fuck you, man. But Hollow Knight is such a good game. Like if, I honestly, I couldn't recommend a game enough. But be, be warned, it is a difficult game. But honestly, on the map, as you can see, you got a little icon, that's Map Man. Another icon, that's like Egg Temple, sealed butthole if you will. And then you have evil looking dude in the middle. That's my boss. That's the boss I need to like try and conquer and beat without dying. Like I said, this terrifies me. This might be like a mini boss here. Yeah, we're getting some mini boss right now. This could be kind of as a boss, honestly. Um, so we want to make sure not to die here, of course. Let me heal up here. This guy gets... Insanely difficult you, you might be thinking like okay, you can heal that's unfair Okay, you know what that's unfair All right, we run out of white juice. Please stop. Okay, that's unfair. There you go. He's dead now <laughs> I'm not gonna lie any kind of boss terrifies me that terrified me Even please let me out. Okay. Yeah. Oh, he's, he's not babies. Okay, yeah, yeah, I remember now. These weird, like, shy guy flies pop out of him. All right, that's fine. What a horrible, horrible day this has been. Kill him. There you go. This guy's gone a little bit nuts here. Oh, Otto, you off? You wield your nail like a club. It's me? How much deeper do we have to go? Oh, what? Who are you? I see this old village. What a strange dream to have led me down here. If you hadn't found me, I don't think I would have ever have woken. I'm sly. Usually I live in an uneventful life up in Dirtmouth. Alright, cool. So eventually, hopefully we'll get like shortcuts, we'll get more villages and stuff. I do- I want to make a point of like talking to every single NPC. Yo, this room looks horrifying. Alright, but there's a baby boy there. We can't say no to the baby boy. Boop. There, just use your skill. Don't worry, you're a pro gamer. There we go, baby boy's been saved. Number two baby boy out of like hundreds. When I first played this game, it took me so long to realize you can bounce on spikes. The game does not teach you that at all. Oh, oh, you see, this is the, you know what? Oh, <laughs> I want those geodes, dude. I like money. I like my money. 
Okay. All right. You know, that's enough. Don't be greedy here. Okay, moving on. I'm trying to find this boss here. Honestly, I'm kind of lost. This guy has a shield. Oh, okay. You know what? You got me there. Okay, he got me. He bested me a bit. These shield boys, a little bit tough. All right. Cool. You got me. What did we learn from my exchange there? Absolutely nothing. Shortcut unlocked. Okay, so now we can access this area from both sides. All right. We're making good progress here. This is a scary cave. Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> I don't think I want to be here, honestly. Oh, okay, that scared me. Hold on. Sorry, there's a noise. Sorry, I just... <laughs> you hear that noise? Fuck, that terrified me, dude. Okay, this guy's big. This, this is a big guy. All right, I remember this big guy. He is... Oh, that does two damage. Okay. Calm down. That's okay. We just plan it out. He has two attacks here. Very easy. He's also very much like the future boss. He plays a lot like the next boss, the first boss even. The game kind of like prepares you for the first boss. It's like, hey, look. Here's a mini version of that boss. Now beat the real thing. There you go. Actually, gamer genius. Can you believe it? Many people say how bad I am at video games. Well, look at me now, okay? All right, we're getting closer and closer to the boss here. I think we're actually almost there. Yeah, we're here, okay. All right, please come out of these guys. All right, <laughs> he just crushed them. Okay, oh. Uh. Okay, thank you for moving away from me. Okay, so false knight. He has a very simple attack pen. We just must we must learn it. The more you hurt the boss, the tougher he gets. Please don't attack me. Thank you. Okay. You know what? He got me good there. Let me just heal up here. There you go. Kill him. Weird ghost maggot does, you know, possess him a bit. Okay. You know, okay, leave him alone. Leave him alone. It's okay. He's a little bit angry. There you go. Hit him. He's gonna jump on me. Hit him a few times here. Jump back. Yeah, there you go. That's a, that's a shockwave and a half there. Oh! And now, every single time- Oh no! Give me some breathing room here, please! Please! I need, re I need room to breathe! <laughs> Alright, run away. Run to the other side here. Okay, just calm down. Oh, please, good sir. Thank you. Okay, heal up. Wait for him to pop it. There you go. Go ham on his ass! Alright, let's go. No, oh, please, good sir. He's new smashy smashy. Avoids the weird corrupted rocks. Alright, it's okay. Okay, shockwave. He's, he's jumping backwards. He's scared. Shockwave again. He hit me dead on. Alright. <laughs> please. I'm just, I'm too scared to attack here. Ah! Oh! Come on. Okay, you know what? Be smarter. Wait for him to attack, and then attack him. Okay. One more. There you go, you sick son of a bitch. You like that? Heal up twice, then go ham his ass again. Okay. <laughs> Please. He's gonna jump towards me. Okay, we're good. First boss so far, I'm feeling pretty confident, honestly. We, we gotta do this first time, otherwise we're dead. Alright. That's it. That's all she wrote. You piece of fucking... Pile of shit, you made me so goddamn scared. Oh. We'll take that. City Crest. Okay. First boss. Done. Zero deaths. Yo, I had no idea you did that. Yo, his, his weapon's a, a little beetle guy. Now, what do I do with the City uh, Crest? No idea. I literally have no idea what I do with it. All right, there's a strange snail person over here who wants to teach me the many ways of the soul. Please. Oh, -ho! who's that creeping out of the darkness? My, you're looking grim. A strange, empty face with a wicked-looking weapon. Something important has drawn you down here into the hollow nest uh, corpse. But I want to ask what? Perhaps the reason you found me is because you need my help? Say no more, friends. I'm going to give you a gift. A nasty little spell of my own creation. It's just perfect for a little one like you. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Yes, give me your spells. Teach me your ways. Just give me the spell of the cowards. What's the spell of the cowards? It's a range attack. <laughs> Vengeful spirit. Tap B to unleash the spirit. Spells will deplete your soul. AKA your, your, your white milk. 
Your white juice. What's up, snail? Oh, oh you've woken at last. I apologize. Perhaps I should have warned you about the power of that spell. I was watching over you as you slept, but seemed to have slipped away myself. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Now that you're awake, I was wondering if you'd do me a small favor. Not as a repayment for my gift, of course, simply because we're, no we're now friends. You see, a hard great beast has made its home in the heart of this temple. Such disrespect. I'll be quite grateful if you were to venture deeper and slay it for me. It's a hardy creature, but with your new power, you're more than a match for it. Good luck with the small favor, my friend. Oh, ho, 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 ho. So he's actually imprisoned me into his temple, which honestly, smart move. Very smart. We could be friends because of how smart you are. I'm gonna save my vengeful spirit on this guy right here. Look at that. Boom. Very, very powerful. Your blue goo for armor. Yes, please. Eventually, we can mark where the blue goo is on the map. And what I might have to do is actually like go back every single time to the blue goo before a boss and like blue goo it up. Because honest, I'm gonna need it. I'm gonna need every single bit of help I can possibly get. Here is the troublesome being. I'm gonna murder him outright. Okay. <laughs> we run out of white, ju white. Ah, oh, goo. Please, good sir. Okay. Blast him again. Easy. Easiest fight of my life. Don't even worry about it. What is this? Soul catcher. Okay. Yo, could you let me in, please? Oh ho! So it's done then. You slain the beast. That poor thing. It must have been terrified of you. It used to be quite docile, but the rancid air in these caverns filled it with some ancient rage. Still, you did what had to be done. You have my gratitude, of course. You'll give me more spells, please? And look, the gate has opened. Oh ho ho. I'm sure you're eager to move. You coy bitch. You know exactly what you did, shaman snail. Why do you hesitate? You'll get nothing more from me, I'm afraid. Alright, but what we can do is equip our charms. So soul catcher. Used by shamans to draw more souls from the world around them. Increase the amount of souls gained when striking the enemy. Honestly, I do like Fear of the Fallen, but like the idea of being close to death scares me. I'm I'm gonna try my best not to be near close to death, honestly. So get rid of that. Give me soul catcher, please. There is a spider right in front of me. What did I say about spiders, hey? There's a spider, literally. Go, you see that? I might be showing my credit card details, so... If you, can you see that? You can see the spider? It's not going to focus into the spider. It's there, though. It, it exists. I don't know why, but spiders absolutely love me. They love making webs towards me. They love my face. For some reason, I think they're in love with me. I must give off some kind of, like, spider pheromone that makes spiders find me irresistible because they just love <laughs> the amount of times I've had a spider pointing like a web towards my face and then slowly come towards me it's it's genuinely terrifying trust me I wish I didn't have this weird spider power but I do all right this can be a good place to end it here it does mean we made it through one video without dying which is great <laughs> Fantastic news, okay? I want to keep it that way for now and in high spirits here If you're still listening to the words coming out my mouth and well done You've watched the entire video. Thank you so much. Please support the series. Give it a like give it a comment Just please help this series out. I want it to do really well here. I absolutely love this game I want to keep on doing more and um, the future videos I do in this game are gonna be less commentary more uh, Action-packed I'm gonna be editing a lot more splicing a lot more in this video alone I just want to like talk to you guys about the game more. Maybe you guys like that more. I don't know who, who knows anyways Really do hope you enjoy this one. I'll see you guys another time and video <laughs>